Hey there guys, uh, this is going to be my unboxing of the Shadowrun Crossfire uh, deck building game. It's by Catalyst Game Labs, uh, and I really love deck building games and co-op games, so that's a great combination for me. And I really love Shadowrun, it's very cool, uh, great setting, love the, all the cyberpunk stuff. Um, so let's crack this open and see what we've got inside. So let's just have a brief look at this art on the cover. Very cool. A lot of action, drama, maybe even some Club Tropicana inside. So let's see what we've got. Some type of brochure. Something about Shadowrun Online. Fire and Frost. Excerpt from upcoming Shadowrun novel. Cool. Well, Shadowrun Crossfire. Welcome to the Sixth World. That appears to be story and some fluff, which is pretty awesome. You don't usually get all that type of stuff, but I guess if you're not really familiar with Shadowrun, uh, see here we've got like an explanation, life in the sixth world, everything has a price, whole section on slang, that's pretty awesome because um, I'm expecting that the uh, cards themselves will use the same type of uh, language that Shadowrun does, so this, that'll probably help you understand the game a bit. Uh, the rule book. Once again, some excellent lighting from me. Quick start rules. So that'll be good to read later. And the first actual game pieces. So these appear to be all the different type of tokens. So what have we got here? Damage, lots of damage, max health. Numbers, shadow run symbols, cool. I'm sure they're useful all become apparent. And now the box itself. So we've got some big kind of cards. So these, this is not actually a piece of card. As you can see, it's really quite thin. Um, and these can actually each be uh, like broken off. So I think they might be some type of sticker. Maybe for skills or something like that. Anyway, there's a whole slew of them. So what have we got here? Uh, button masher. That's awesome. High roller. Fundamentals. Die hard. Lifestyle choice. Fragging tough. <laughs> so if that is like some type of additional thing you can add to uh, your character, that's a kind of interesting and novel way to level up. I'd just be interested to see how reusable that they really are. And so now we have... Appears to be character cards. So this, I'm assuming that what you do is that you will... Uh, choose a character um, to play with in the game. So, so we've got dwarves. You can write your name. Um, and I'm assuming that you would probably, like, you could, I guess, find a sleeve for these. Or you could get some type of erasable uh, texter. I'd probably more go for the sleeve option because I'm never really a big fan of writing on my own cards. And the other side. Oh, okay. So let's see. They've got name... I'm guessing that's health at the top. Cards, orange, five, karma. Then she appears to have four slots, which is probably where you would stick those uh, things from before. It's pretty cool. And what else have we got? Another dwarf. And it's nice that they've got these um, little kind of backstory bits. Kind of bring you into the game. Pretty cool art on them too. Uh, 
uh, the good old orc. So an orc has six health. Still four slots. Only one orange, but five cards. That's a pretty big, big difference from the dwarf. Uh, another orc. Ah, trolls. And so one of the really cool things about Shadowrun is the way they've um, really merged fantasy um, and science fiction into kind of this amazing world. And so as such, you've got all like the classic fantasy races, orcs, dwarves, trolls, and we'll see some more as we go along. So let's have a look at you. You've got seven health. Four slots again. You only have three cards, but you've got two orange. Smoking to killer. Uh, humans. Ah, it's delightful. Some gore. But cool hair. Uh, let's see, humans have five health, four cards, three orange, whatever that is. I'm gonna I'm just gonna start calling it actions. Okay, cool. And oh, more of a uh, Cyber hacking looking dude, not so much blood. Ah, an elf. Mm, some type of cyber mystic, maybe? Let's have a look. Four health. Uh, four cards. Five action. Alrighty then. Tribal mystic, maybe? And let's see, so now, ah, so these are all different missions. So awards, winning, progress, scaling of some form, cool. And what else we've got? Dragon fight, crossfire, the client, enraged dragon. So that's, I guess, some type of enemy or boss. And then we've got on the other side, Covert Dragon. Okay. That all looks pretty cool. And so now, of course, the mandatory 10 free Ultra Pro sleeves. Um, now once again, we actually have more than 10 cards in here, but someday... Uh, I'm sure I will have enough Ultra Pro sleeves just from buying these games. Thank you once again. Uh, so, let's have a look at the actual cards themselves. Okay, so, let's see. Mark. If you see someone get a mark on you, Get your defences ready. They're getting ready to take control, not just drop by to say hi. So man, there really do seem to be a great deal of cards here. Checked in. Icon grab. Retrieval agent. And it appears, let's see, they've got these different symbols at the top. So that guy looks like he's connected to something. These blue ones seem to have some type of lightning bolt. Ooh, death touch. Mm. And then there is the masquerade mask. Street smarts. Ah, the good old dock wagon. And then we've got the gun. So that might be some different type of resource that you have. So I'm looking forward to finding out. Monofilament whip, that's gotta hurt. Katana, the classic. Covering fire. And now we've got some more. Maybe some more specialized fireball. Can't have a game without fireball. Black market, press the advantage. Hero move, sniper rifle, Remington, 
Cool. So I'm guessing that they are all actually the different character cards that you would use to uh, make and build your deck. And then we've got... Lightning Mage, and I think that's the symbol for New Year at the top, so you might need to generate that, which is the currency in the Shadowrun world. That guy looks like that pain. And so you can see at the top that they've got so four, and then the hacking symbol, gun symbol, and two, lightning symbol, and two, and then the gun symbol again. So that might mean the amount of those uh, type of symbols you need. Different amounts of Nuyen, Mage, Knight Errant Field Agent, get back here card, Armored Troopers, Water Decker, which is another name for Hacker, Drone Digger, Synth, cool. And let's just take a look at the box itself. Try to get some of the remaining cards out. There's always some left over. So as you can see, once again, these guys have made a good decision and actually given a box uh, with all the different compartments um, for the different cards in it. So that's really awesome. Great way to um, keep your cards in the game together. And let's just have a look at the back of the box now. Some pictures of the cards. Wonderful players. 30 to 60 minutes. Some of the art. Very cool. Excellent. So I'm pretty excited, as always, to uh, try out this game and see how it works. Um, love deck building games. Love co-op games. Love Shadowrun. So this is a really great mix for me. Um, so thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll catch you later.